give you another. She was like, uh, no, that's one issue, okay? Another issue is that they don't give you two sharpened pencils. They give you one and they don't give you a sharpener because obviously that would be distracting. So you need to put everything into perspective. Now, what I also wanna point out is every testing center is different. For some of you out there, obviously, you know, if you're listening to this in on the continent of Asia, it's totally different from what testing centers are in probably South America. But in the United States, North America, okay, I don't know how Mexico and Canada is in the central, you know, the, the what is it, the Central America. I believe that Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, El Salvador, these countries are actually pretty good and whatnot. But the United States in general, it just seems like it's getting worse and worse and everything just ends up becoming a big question mark. Let me give you an example here. If you were, and I need you to put this into perspective, because this isn't just about note-taking, this is also about time. If you are going to take notes, let's just say you get a two and a half minute conversation, they're gonna give you probably just two and a half minutes to answer the question. If you don't, it's gonna go on to the next one. I want you to consider that. Now, apparently one of my students in San Diego recently took the test, she got a 20. I was shocked because I've had a lot of students get great results in regards to the listening this year. We're talking 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23 just recently over this past weekend. And another one of my students got a 101 overall with the 28 in listening. But she was telling me she got a 20, but she always got perfect in her practicing. So I'm just saying to myself, well, what's going on here? She was given a lecture, a five minute one. She had just two minutes to answer six questions. That's basically, what is that, 23-ish plus seconds per question? I don't know what is going on, but I got. I do want you guys to consider all the variables that are at play. So yes, you may be excellent in note-taking. This may end up changing your life forever. But you also have to understand you're going to have to get down the time perspective. However, time should not be in the forefront of your decision-making right now. I don't give a damn if it's reading or listening. Time does not matter right now because if you have no competencies, the time will never be there. So you have to build up your competencies first. And then once you master this type of note-taking Cornell style, again, one of the other questions beckons is if you look down, are you going to be able to look back up? Are you going to be able to hurry up and look at your notes and here and there? Well, one of my students who just took the test said it was impossible. She got a 20, but that's just her. Other people have gotten 28, 27, 26, 25, 24. I don't know how they do it. There are going to be a lot of videos that I do on my Instagram in terms of how people are able to do this, but please consider everything. I know one of my amazing students uh, from last year, you know, she's probably going to, you know, she's watching this court, you know, this webinar right now. And she just recently got a 23. So I'm like, well, to be honest with you, you know, if she's able to do it and other people are doing it, then what exactly happened in San Diego? So consider everything, all right? Now, with that being said, done, done, done. Let's keep it going. All right, let's dive into this. So there's gonna be a two column layout. Let's break this down. I'm gonna hurry up and show you exactly how this is gonna work. Now, remember, you have to consider everything. You have to consider how big you write, okay? You have to make sure, you know, in terms of the pressure that you put on the pencil, all right, if you're not giving two pencils, man, you need to ask them straight up. And if they say no, you need to say, excuse me, I paid 250 mother effing dollars for this test. You're going to give me a mother effing extra pencil. Okay. Uh, but the two column layout should be good enough for two sheets of paper, front and back. That's four technically. However, you are going to have your speaking questions and everything else on there. So if you need to hurry up and make a switch, make sure you make a switch between like the speaking and the listening and saying, hey, Here's my speaker, don't need it anymore. Get it out of my face. I need a new paper, okay? Please do that also. <sighs> okay, let's keep this going. Two column layout. What I do, people always say, oh, well, I don't know what's this, what's that? What's what? a lot of different things, right? And so I'm like, listen, in your left column, and you guys are gonna see this coming up right now. What I need you to do is basically put dates. I'm talking about the years, months, days, whatever, names of people, okay? Any kind of people. Talk about authors up to ancient civilization, Socrates, Plato, you name it. Put them all up in there, okay? Uh, theory number one, theory number two, theory number three. Uh, there, uh, let's just say cities, 
Uh, the, like I've already said, dates including uh, special years, okay, different times of, uh, you know, contrast or comparisons or questions from students, answers to students. This is extremely importante, okay? Got to make sure you put all that down because if you don't end up doing that, that's going to end up being a big problem for you because, well, if you use the census note-taking method, you're just going to have a bunch of words on a piece of paper, not sure where to look. Because maybe not at the beginning, like let's just say right there at the beginning, you're probably not going to have any of the years of the people's names. You're probably going to have them in the middle of the census or towards the end. So you're going to have to scour everywhere for this. That's going to be completely time wasting. Do not do that. All right. Now, details on the right side. Okay. Now you can summarize going down the middle. I haven't summarized in a while and stuff like that. Normally, I just write R-E-S and I go from there, okay? You're going to be able to compare your notes with mine, and you're probably going to be able to answer these questions alongside with me. Now, this note taken is for you to know the process of elimination. I'm not just talking about just going to your notes, going there, go notes, no, no, no. Summarizing exactly where you are to go into the question, and you don't have to look back at your notes because the summary is already in your head. Go to A and say, nope. Number two, nope. Three, nope. Four, that has to be it. D. A, B, C, D. You should be able to go down and say a no, 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 yes. Or yes, 